What's up, everybody? This is John from Coding Addict, and welcome to my Mern Stack course, where we'll build a full stack application from scratch using MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. The name of the application is going to be Jobify, and it will keep track of our progress during the job search process. I will leave a $10 coupon link in the description. So if you are interested in enrolling in the course, just head on over there and you'll be good to go. Keep in mind that per Udemy rules, coupons do expire in five days. So if you're watching this later, you will have to wait for my monthly coupons video where I share $10 coupons for all my courses. Since I don't want to waste too much of your time, I'm not going to list all the things we're going to implement during the project in this video. Essentially, you can find all of them in the course description. And also, I'll only show you the main features of the application. Just keep in mind, you can always access the entire application at jobify.live. Again, the URL is www.jobify.live. And there's going to be a stats page where we display pending applications, applications where we have interviews scheduled, and also applications which have been declined. And below it, we'll set up a chart where we'll showcase how many applications we have sent out in the last six months. There's going to be two charts, one bar chart, and also one area chart. So the data is going to be the same, but effectively, the user will be able to choose which chart he or she likes the best. Then there's going to be a all jobs page where we'll display all the jobs we have applied to. There's going to be nice pagination where we can switch from page to page and we'll display 10 items per page. But once we set up the functionality, you'll be able to control that as well. So effectively, if you want to display more jobs per page, you'll be able definitely to do so. And notice over here, if I go to Prev, and if we go to, for example, page number one, once we click, we'll navigate to the last page. And the same works here with the next. So if we're on the last page, then we navigate to the first one. Also, there's going to be a search functionality. So if for some reason I want to look only for the jobs where I have the interview, then we click over here. And notice right now we only display 28 jobs. Now, the way our functionality is going to work, the pagination is still going to work. So we'll set up the filter and then we'll return the jobs that match the filter and we'll still set up the pagination. Now there's also an option to add the job. So we'll go over here and let me just type here random and random. Let's submit that. Now we can navigate back. We can see that new job has been created. Now we do want to change the filter back to all. And once we do that, notice our last job is random at random. We have an option to edit job. So we click over here. And let's just say that the status will be set to interview. Let's submit again. Notice we have job updated. Awesome. We navigate back. Now the status is interview. And also we have an option to delete the job. We can also work with the profile. So once I navigate here, notice that's my user, John Smith with email as well as the location. And if I want to change it around, and if I want to go by Peter, we just save the changes, we update and right away, it is displayed here in logout button as well. And if we log out, this is what the user who hasn't registered is going to see. So that is going to be our landing page, which we'll build together, then we'll also have a register page. And before I log in one more time, let me just showcase how the error page is going to look like. So if I go to registers, this is the error page we'll set up again, we navigate back home, which eventually will be a dashboard if we log in. But since we haven't logged in, we're being kicked back to the landing page, since dashboard is going to be protected route. And then we have two options, we can either register or log in. And in my case, since I already have the user with all the data, I'm just going to log in. So let me provide my credentials and we're good to go. Notice if I provide invalid credentials, we'll get back the error. So let me double check 
my password. Hopefully it is going to work this time. Yep, everything is correct. Login successful. And now we are redirecting back to the dashboard. And one last thing that I want to mention that the project is going to look awesome on any screen. So we'll set up nice CSS where regardless of the page we go to, it's going to look beautiful on any screen size, whether that's small screen size or the big screen size.